a vaccine shipment containing one month of stock requirement is delivered from the district vaccine store to your health facility. Now, it is up to you to make sure the vaccines are kept at the right temperatures up to the point of administration. At the health facility, vaccines and diluents must be kept at the correct temperatures during storage, packing and transport to and from outreach sites, and immunization sessions. For now, we will look at some of the key tasks for health workers at these three points in the cold chain. When you store vaccines, make sure you keep vaccines in the appropriate refrigeration equipment. Arrange vaccines and diluents in a refrigerator based on their temperature sensitivities. Keep only water packs in the freezing compartment. Never store vaccines or diluents in a freezer. When storing water packs, be sure to place them upright or on their sides, depending on manufacturer's instructions. Monitor vaccine refrigerator temperatures to make sure that the temperature remains between 2 degrees and 8 degrees Celsius. This means reading and recording monitoring devices such as 30 DTR and integrated digital thermometers and stem thermometers twice daily. It also means taking action when temperature is out of range, alerting supervisors, following procedures to correct the problem, and protecting vaccines when needed. At the health facility, one person must have overall responsibility for managing the vaccine cold chain. This person checks and records vaccine temperatures twice daily. This person is also responsible for maintaining cold chain equipment. From preventative maintenance to overseeing repairs and replacements when needed. When it is time to pack and transport vaccines for an outreach session, the health worker must select required vaccines after checking them to ensure that they are not damaged by extreme temperatures, using monitoring tools such as VVMs. Choose the correct vaccine carrier for the outreach session, which will depend on the type and quantity of vaccines and diluents to be transported, the cold or cool life needed for the longest planned journeys, and the transport method used. Make sure water packs are prepared to protect the specific vaccine. You may need to use frozen ice packs, conditioned ice packs, cool water packs, or warm water packs. Correctly pack and transport vaccines in a vaccine carrier with appropriately prepared water packs. And during an immunization session, health workers should keep vaccines and diluents within correct temperatures. This means keeping vaccines and diluents in a vaccine carrier until they are needed. Placing opened vials in the foam pad at the top of the vaccine carrier. As you can see, health workers like you play a critical role in the cold chain. In the end, it is up to you to make sure vaccines remain at the correct temperatures during storage, packing and transport, and outreach sessions.